All right, well, it's that time of the week when we like to break down stories from the three levels of government with CTV political commentator Scott Reed joining us in studio. Scott, good to see you again this week. Hope you're doing well. Morning, bud. Okay, so let's talk about this. Uh, the carbon tax, the hike went into effect, of course, yeah. yesterday. Uh, and, you know, announcing the plans is one thing, but when they're implemented, you know, the politicians behind them, that's when they kind of start to feel the heat. Do you think the Liberals are feeling it this time? Oh, gosh, yeah, they're feeling the heat. And like you say, right, we've been talking about this for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it finally hits the pumps. It finally hits people in their pocketbooks. So you've got this interesting uh, laboratory you can watch if you're interested in politics. Competing messages and competing strategies to get their message out. Government really deciding to go hard on this, pushing back, trying to push on the rebates, and then trying to flip it and push it back on the Conservatives. You know, Pierre Polyev doesn't have a plan for the climate and, you know, he's a retrograde and all that sort of stuff. And Polyev just saying, hey, man, this is a tax. It's super unpopular. The government's being much more spirited in its defense. It's being much more concentrated in its defense. And weeks prior, it had been all over the map. But here's the thing, man. The more days you spend talking about the most unpopular public mm -hmm. policy in the country, the more days you're going to lose votes. You've got no choice. Like The only way through the fire is out of the fire, and you've got to pound away on this thing. But you know the government would desperately, desperately love to switch the channel, which is why it's doing budget day announcements. Yeah each and every day leading up to the budget, which is still two and a half weeks away. I was going to say, it's April 16th, so I guess that's two weeks from today, in fact, right? Yeah. So we're that close, so we're going to be hearing a lot more about the budget to sort of get the carbon tax for them in the rearview mirror, At least compete with it. You're like, there's yeah. only so much time in the news for federal government mm -hmm. uh, policies, so yeah. let's try and steal a portion of that with a food program, with child care, with yeah. something other than carbon tax, because they know they're going to get the carbon tax right between the eyes. Yeah, they will indeed, certainly from Premier Ford they did, and from several other premiers. In the meantime, though, Premier Ford in Ottawa last week urging the federal government, so there's kind of a hybrid here, to get the workers back into downtown offices to support yeah. the economy, you know, post-pandemic. But that's kind of fallen on deaf ears, it seems. It has. I wanted to highlight this, even though it was last Thursday. You know, you got the Premier standing with the Mayor of Ottawa, talking about how are we going to revitalize downtown mm -hmm. Ottawa, what are we going to do in terms of pumping money into the city, new plan for cities and all that kind of stuff. And he takes this hard unexpected, almost unprovoked shot at the federal government. Well, get their workers back into offices. And, you know, no matter what you think about that, here's my takeaway. We discussed in previous rounds how this government provincially has really felt it's in their interest to be seen to cooperate with the federal government mm -hmm. until about two weeks ago. Yeah, and then the letter. And then we got a detailed, sharp letter from the premier. Then he's talking out of turn, taking shots at the prime minister. Now he's in Ottawa with the mayor on a completely separate talk. Just like, you know what, let me just verge way out of my lane and take yeah. a shot at the federal government again. The government here at Queen's Park has decided with the carbon tax, with April 1st, with the popularity of the government so low in the polls federally, mm -hmm. it's in Doug Ford's interest to fight with the federal government, to fight with Trudeau. And that's just further evidence that he will actually go out of his way mm -hmm. to find a fight because he thinks that's in his political interest. And by the way, he's probably right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting to see that. Okay. We've got about uh, 45 seconds for this, but over the weekend, we learned that Niagara Falls, the eclipse is six <laughs> days from now. They've already <laughs> declared a state of emergency or unlocking resources, et cetera, ahead of it. But, you know, calling it a state of emergency, doesn't that kind of stoke a little bit of fear or unease amongst people? I don't know if it does. I think it stokes a sense of ridicule. So what I've seen is people are going, you know, my God, this is ridiculous. We're going to have an eclipse and now, like, what are we? Is it ancient Aztec world? We have to go, <laughs> oh, my God, the, the gods are eating the sun. Uh, and But the more I thought about it, the more I'm kind of sympathetic uh, to Niagara region. They know they've got an influx of a million people. They've never seen anything like it. It's yeah. going to overwhelm a bunch of their systems, policing, trafficking, mm -hmm. roads, all of that. And this is the only way to get that many resources right. corralled. And it makes you wonder... Can't they make a little tweak? Like, do we? It's just, is there no other mechanism yeah. to say we need surge capacity for a bunch of resources? And no, it's not an emergency. Like, nobody's like you know stuck on their house in a flood. Yes. But yeah. we are trying to find a way to get these resources. So at first, I kind of rolled my eyes like everyone. But then I thought, I'm like, well, what would I do if I was in their shoes? Pretty unprecedented. That's yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Of course, next Monday. Obviously, hoping everything's good. And we'll see you next Tuesday then. Uh, absolutely. I'll be blind. I'll be. Well, yeah. I don't follow Get any of that glasses, advice. I'm Scott. staring right Get at it, the man. the glasses. We need to keep you laser-focused on those absolutely. three levels of government. Okay, we're back with Scott next week.